All right. It's always in stitches here. It's what's new on our YouTube channel. You know, it, rather than what's new, we should call it what's when. <laughs> <laughs> when's what's? When's what's new? When's what's new? That's what we'll call it. When's what's new? Because we've we've done it on Mondays and Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's it's just a challenge to make you subscribe to our channel and get notices when we post these videos because you just don't know when we're going to do them. And we don't know when we're going to do them. And we don't know when we're going to do them. Sometimes we got to wait till we got enough new stuff to make it worth our time. So here we are again, always in stitches. Um, I hope wherever you're at, you're having a wonderful stitchy day. We are here. Um, it's getting close to the end of the day on Friday, so we're a little punchy, and so is the rest of the staff, too. Um, the holidays are over. You know, we, we got through Christmas and the New Year, and now we're trying to get back in the groove of having uh, having a, a real life again and working. So hopefully vacations are over and time offs are over, and we'll get in a routine and you'll find us. So I hope your life's settling down a little bit, too. But maybe we'll get some good snowy weather and get snowed in. What do you think, Peter? Hey, I'm all for a good one week being snowed in. Me too. And I could That last time they we got cheated. We did. Because they said that we were gonna have a snowstorm. We didn't have any snowstorm. No. It lied. was just cold. It was just cold. It was just really stupid cold. And we didn't get that like you know, 14 feet of snow and you can't go anywhere and they shut everything down and man, that's the best because then you have to get into your stash, you know, and that's that's a good day because I'm gonna have to live to be eight hundred and some years old to use all my stash. But anyway, so I'm going to tell you about more, more fabric. <laughs> After I tell you, you got to use your stash. <laughs> Let me tell you what you need to buy. But anyway, this is this is a really cool quilt. This is called Color Collage, and it's a Nancy Rink uh, design. And we will be receiving the fabric hopefully soon. They've had a delay in the shipment. And so um, the good news is I think we've got a couple spots still open in this block of the month. And it is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful quilt. The great part is there's all kinds of applique on the side. And, you know, when I see applique pieces, I usually run like I'm running from a big furry bear. Because <laughs> the last thing I want to do is applique. I, I just, one of the gals at our shop here, she does the most perfectly, perfectly beautiful Needle turned applique. Virginia. <coughs> Vir Virginia. Grandma Ginger. <coughs> Grandma Ginger. <coughs> we don't. We we. But you know they're both in their 80s. You know, so they ought to be able to do needle turned applique <laughs> by that age. I will not. However, this does has as you can see all this applique. Now you can do raw edge applique, and it's perfectly nice. acceptable. Um, nice. And then here's the cool part. I have with me because what you got in your bag. I got. Got and your basket. The the fabric. This is to make the kit. Now I haven't started making the kit yet. And see, here's all those pieces. And they're pre. You're gonna get this in your kit. They're which pre -cut? This is They're pre-cut. Oh wow. Pre-cut, pre-fused. So all I have to do is you know pop this little thing off of here. No way. Like that. That's it. Na 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 na. That's already got gooey stuff on it. I'm gonna lay it down on the borders iron it in place and then because I'm a lazy butt I'm just gonna like Stitching. stitch around it and okay. I might do some fun you know little blanket stitching or use those decorative you can stitches use those decorative stitches yeah. use those decorative stitches you never do but this this comes in the kit I mean how awesome is that everything's already cut pre-cut I don't have to draw the circles I don't have to figure it out I don't have to go is this the right piece of fabric and that's already included. So I'm loving it. That's the applique kit. And then these are the fabric. These are just yummy. Yeah, they are. Aren't they great? I love the contrast of this golden yellow against these blues and the greens. It it looks like a lot of green in this, but when they put this teal in there and then there's some real pretty aquas in it too, look how lovely this fabric is. Oh, I love that dot. I know. Look at this that dot. Isn't that pretty? That cross. Isn't that just, and look at this yellow. See, this is why that yellow works, because you've got this green Ooh, piece. Blue dots. Okay, and then look at this floral. See the floral. Mmm, <gasps> yummy, 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 yummy. That's a real pretty green. This is a pretty floral, too. Nice teal. And then, then see, it gets to those teal wow, colors. Wow, what a variety of, of, Isn't it of pretty? print and pattern. They look like batiks. They are not. They are actually just regular oh, cottons. I love that. Isn't that soft and sweet? Yes. There's kind of that cross again. Then this nice navy. I, it, this grounds the quilt. You don't see navy in any of the others, but it takes the place that black would if you had a quilt that you use black in. This is your grounding piece. It's that part that lets your eye rest. And then this is the part that is 
for the border. And Whoa. so when you look at the quilt here, uh -huh. this outside looks like it's all been pieced. Now, how did I miss that? It's not. It's just the print. It's just how that smart. That? That's neat. Isn't that fun? So I'm really excited to be making this quilt. We're actually going to offer it with um, YouTube video support. So if you sign up for the class, not I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. Not YouTube, but a Facebook group. It's going to have a Facebook private group where we're going to sit down and kind of go through this with you each month so that you have all the information on how to cut, how to quilt. If you've never quilted before, if you're a beginning quilter, I would suggest you could probably do this. If you're a little adventuresome, um, we love to have people play with us and, and learn how to quilt. And so I'm going to take you from beginning to end on how to make this quilt. Size? We're looking for size? No. Um, d did the designer that make the pattern design the fabric? Yes. Nancy Reek Designs. She did the fabric and the pattern. So I'm impressed with that fabric. I tell you what, I'm impressed with the pattern book. So, you know, because of copyright, we uh -huh. can't really show you this. But here's what I love. This is a pattern that will be usable and practical and functional and makes sense. Okay? Mm. So I'm all about this pattern. Um, sometimes we get patterns and... God bless the pattern writers. I wouldn't want to be a pattern writer. I'm not going to diss any of y'all. But some patterns are better written than others. And some of it's sometimes just the way you read it and understand it. This is a great pattern. I mean, it would comes you, as would, a book. Would you say some patterns are best left unwritten? Some, yes. <laughs> and, and and bless them for trying because, man, it ain't easy. But well, Everybody's got to get the first pattern printed sometime. Well, I, I have a published pattern, but I'm going to tell you, I'll never do it again. You have a published pattern? I have a published pattern, but I will never do it again. Never, ever, ever. You've been holding out on us. And then the other thing I want to talk about is we have in our possession, and we are ready to now sell, it is on our website, the nine-month Glimmer and Gleam uh, Block of the Month program. This is a Moda program. It's using the Moda Grunge fabrics. If you're a fan of the Moda Grunge fabrics, which who isn't? I mean, they're like twice as nice because the back side is the solid color in the moda and the front side has a little bit of um, shading and tinting to it that gives it a distinct color you could do this either way you could actually use both sides of the fabric if you wanted to in this but um, this is designed for the grunge fabric line it's a beautiful beautiful quilt i've seen it live and it's lovely it's uh 84 by 96 so it's a pretty good size quilt um it doesn't, if you wanted to make it a little bigger, it'd be easy to add whatever color borders you wanted in a solid color. But I don't know, 84 by 96, that's that's queen. I wouldn't go much bigger than that. The great thing about it is Sarah Maxwell, who is Sarah J, she's the lady who wrote the pattern, is going to be offering a Facebook support group on this. So on her Facebook page, you're going to have a community of people you can work with that will be sharing the stitching of this quilt month by month as you do it. So... Uh, it's a nine month program so if you start in the end of January which is when it's set to start January 24th you'll have it done before Christmas in time to maybe even give as a Christmas gift so uh, we're offering it with the white background or a black background you can choose the way you want it so you go to our website under um, you click on classes you scroll down to clubs because when we have a block of the month we consider it a monthly club and you can uh, order the complete kit there. We're not selling it to you monthly. We felt like you should get the fabric all up front at the same time because it helps you not waste any more fabric than you have to. And it kind of gives you an idea of what all you've got to work with. If you want to change it up, you can. So you can buy the whole kit on the website. So it's ready if you want it. But mark whether you want a white background or black background when you order it because we want to be sure you get it. And how do they want. do that? Um, in the notes. So when you, when you place your order, it'll have a little place and it'll say notes. You just click on that and type in there, I would prefer to have the black or I would prefer to have the white. And if you don't tell us, we're going to call you or email you and say, what do you want? To be sure you get the right thing. Okay, those are, I'm cleaning house. I have a lit, see I have a clipboard now. See my clipboard? It says, what's new? Peter's been teasing me because I have too many things to do. And so I decided I just make a little clipboard. It says, what's new? And now I need to put some fun fabric on the back because... You know, I got nothing else to do. Nothing to do in my life. I'm sure all you guys are just, like, waiting for things to do, too. So, somebody on our page, Mary, Mary Wonderland. Wonderland? Wonderling? I think it's Wonder, Wonderland. I can't see the spelling. Well, I don't know. 
You don't want to hold it up where they can see it. Hold it up where you can see it. Mary Wonderland, I think, was her name. She's a, she's a lady. I think it's Mary Wonderland. Mary Wonderland. Yeah. I think it is, too. I apologize for not knowing your name because I know you followed us on this thing. You were asking about my English paper piecing. So I, this is confession time. I, I love to do English paper piecing. Hear that loud and clear. But it's been put on the back burner because you know how we crafters are. We get caught in something else and we forget to keep up with things. What I did do, which some of you probably have been known to do, is I got it all organized and I did next I'm, I meant to bring in my box, but I have this nice big tub and all my stuff is nice and neat and orderly so that when I'm ready to start I'll be able to find everything. But for right now, these quilts that I've showed you in all these programs, guess who makes the samples? Me. So I'm a little busy making machine quilts right now and doing some other classes. So the English paper piecing is kind of taking a little bit of a back burner. Not to say that I don't love it and think it's great. And I'm amazed. It's, it's hit a peak. There's a lot of people doing English paper piecing. So if you're interested in it, just Google it or go to Pinterest. Oh my gosh, it's gone bananas. So uh, I still have visions of doing it. I've just had to take a break for a little bit it'll come back it's like everything it's like cross stitch has come back and gone crazy which i can't do cross stitch so watch our floss tubes though to see about cross stitch we got some really good cross stitchers here that can tell you about cross stitch so that's my true confession sorry mary i know you wanted to see some projects but for now i'm just you're gonna have to look at finished quilts because <laughs> that's all i got time for okay let's look at fabric because that's what we like to do. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's one right here Where beside us. Where are we going? Us. We're going right here. We're oh. not going very far at all. You mean if it was a snake in the grass, it would have devoured us both? Yeah, if you could have seen where we're sitting right now, you could you could touch it. I could I could touch it. Taste it. Touch it. Touch oh, it. there it touch is. It. Touch there it. There it is. There it is. Whoop, there it is. So this just came in. This is Henry Glass. Uh, is the company. It's a um, Kim Deal fabric line. It's called uh, sparks of scraps of kindness. Hey, scraps I, like, of kindness. I like sparks of kindness. I like sparks of kindness too. That's I do kind of too. Fun. I'm stealing that. That's kind of fun. Sparks of kindness. So I'll let him spin around and see it. We have already a quilt put together, and this is stinking cute. So it's a a quilt that has spools, and each block in the center of the spool is a different kind of block. So you got pinwheels, you got nine patch, you got flying geese, you got uh, gosh, looks like half square triangles, a spool and a spool, a square and a square, a pinwheel. I mean, it's just cool. So I love this quilt. I think this is a great little fun project. It would definitely teach you a lot. And, you know, no price tag. Oh, there it is. Yeah. $129.99. That's not a bad deal for that quilt. It's 56 by 64 and a half. Lots of little pieces and a big piece of backing in there. So, um, I just, I'm, I might become a I know Tula, you Tula fans don't listen because I don't want to diss anybody, but I might have to become like a primitives person. I'm loving these colors, the depth of them. And well, the, I would call this primitive with a punch. Yeah, but that's a I good mean, way. These are, this is a designer. She used a very specific color palette. And I mean, when you look at her colors and her prints, she knows what she's doing. Right. And it's not by chance and it's not by accident. No, no, no. And the scale of them is lovely. And the, I love how they enter. I love the beiges. Yeah. She did a nice job getting beiges. I think sometimes in your primitives, those just basic beiges are hard to find. Um, these make great backs. There's one here we've got a couple bolts of. And just so you know, when you buy a whole bolt from us, you get 30% off the entire bolt if it's more than three yards. So when you're looking at our bolts, if you see one that's, you know, right around there and you need to do a quilt back, it's a great way to buy fabric for quilt backs. Um, okay, and then I can't not talk about the purple, right, Peter? Right. we got to talk about the purple. <laughs> we got to talk about purple. Purple's one of fav Peter's okay. favorites. I'm sure they're already thinking it. So somebody might as well say it. What's that one-eyed, one, what was it, one-eyed, one-horned? One-eyed, one-eyed, flying purple people eater. Oh, yeah. One-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making myself look old. But anyway, this is the purple line, and lavenders and purples are so hard to keep in. You guys buy up purple pretty much as quick as we get it. Well, matter of fact, yesterday, I think four of our staff members all were wearing purple. It was just so funny. It's a good color. But these these are just... They're like sherbet, purple sherbet or, or lavender 
lilacs or I don't know what flower to describe. And again, we've got some nice beiges. Um, now this is from the Marcus Company. This is from Pam Buddha. So a different designer. Kim Deal up here, Pam Buddha down here. Um, but they still play nice together. You know. We have this in jelly rolls and layer cakes. So there you go. Gosh, wouldn't that make a great 1600 quilt? Ooh. That would be quick and fun. You know, I'm sure there's people out there that are going to come to our jelly roll race this year in yeah. May. They might as well go ahead and get that jelly yeah. roll. Yeah, oh, for get it, it now. Because I love, last time I filmed, I could, every jelly roll was like from our store. It was amazing just to see in these jelly rolls that people had that they've held on to mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. used specifically for the jelly roll race. Look how yummy that is. This is, this is just delicious. So there's, there's your Pam Buddha Plumberry 2. Uh, we've got, there's another, this is called Redwood Cupboard. Now I'm not sure, we were noticing that these are up here. Yeah. This is another Pam Buddha from a little bit back, I think. I'm not sure how these got placed up here, but because is it's that, Pam Buddha. It might be that line, but I'm not sure. Oh, I think you're right. Let's go take a peek at that Let's one too. Let's go investigate. So there's some more jelly rolls up here that are uh, some with the primitives. Oh, yep, yeah, this is it, Redwood Cupboard. So they ran out of space. One of the things we try to do is kind of make sure in the store when you come in, because some of you are here a lot and we love that you come in a lot. We want to be sure that you have a place where you can go and go oh that's the newest stuff I want to be sure I see the new stuff and because we have our primitives back here in our wool area sometimes we felt like they were getting overlooked so we're trying to make sure you see them and that's why we put this new little spinner out so you can look for that spinner that's full of all the newest fabrics so there you have it that's what's new in the um, primitives area but you know what we never we get a new line every day right just about every day we get new fabric. And not to drop a bombshell on you, but the um, Kim deal that we just looked at, okay, that was the Sparks of Kindness. No, yeah. Scraps of Scraps of Kindness. Of happiness. Scraps, of, scraps of Scraps of Happiness? Scraps of Kindness. Kindness, okay. Up at the front. And we're going to go there. Okay, okay, good. Can we go there? Yeah. Okay, we'll go there. Okay. You want to go first? So my world is right as rain right now. And I say right as rain because that's the name of this line. This is another fabric line we've received from the Henry, Henry Glass Company. And this is also Kim Deal. This is called Right as Rain. And I, yeah. I just have to let him stand. <laughs> Look at these two. Look at these mm. teal. Pam Would that make a good bag? Yes. Wouldn't that make a gorgeous handbag? And you could put navy um, vinyl with it. So you have a little, you know, bling and put antique um, gold uh, accessories with it. So use all your hardware in kind of a brassy tone. Oh, that yeah. would just be stunningly beautiful. Um, so there's these. I mean, it's just, again, he's going to have to show you the eye candy of how pretty these fabrics are. I just, I love them. I really like them. Look how pretty this black is down here. Look at this. Gosh, that's stunning. I think it's got pears on it. Man, that looks awesome. Isn't that just beautiful? It's like fireworks. It is. That would be the most beautiful border on a quilt. I'm just saying right now, that would be really pretty in a border. Um, and look at this. This looks rich. Look mm. how rich that is. I see that on a tuffet. Do they still make tuffets? Remember when we were making tuffets? Everybody was making tuffets. Wouldn't this be a, a beautiful tuffet? Was there a nursery rhyme about tuffet? Little Miss Muffet who sat on the tuffet. Curds and whey. Curds and whey is cottage cheese. Did you know that? That's the dumbest thing. I know weird, <laughs> stupid stuff. <laughs> they should have just said cottage cheese. They should have just said cottage cheese. Why do they call it curds and whey? Because probably somebody else so called it. So if I eat cottage cheese at lunch, can I say I'm having yes, curds and whey? Yes, you can say you're having curds and whey. Because that's what it is. Or, or is it... Um, uh, cheese curds. Cheese. Oh, now cheese curds yeah. are nasty. They squeak on your teeth. I don't like those. We've given you a lot of information. That's a lot. That is a lot. And we focused on the on the primitives because I was catching a little flat because all we ever talk about is Tula. But I will tell you this. If you're a Tula aficionado and you can get to the store because we don't do it online or over the phone, we put a bunch of Tula in clearance. I'm just saying. If you want to invest in your futures... Uh, profits. <laughs> I'm curious as to what went back there. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm curious too. We just have to see what went to Clarence, but it is on its way to that I guess, department. I guess people who know their Tula might have picked might up have on Might have picked up on something, yeah. but yeah, there is some Tula going to our Clarence room. Meanwhile, thank you for watching us. Thank you for being part of our um, quilting family. Um, there's always fun stuff going on at the store. If you're not signed up to get our email, please do because every Saturday or Sunday morning, an email goes out. Um, it goes out usually at the end of the day Saturday or first thing Sunday morning and so if you want to know what's going on in the store that's the best way or follow our Facebook page our Always in Stitches Insiders is a great place too so if you're not subscribed to us do it so you'll know when we post these things because it's not what's new it's when is what's new <laughs> when it's what's new when, when's what's new we never know but we appreciate you being with us hope you're having a really good stitching day we are here and people are walking in the door so we're going to turn this off so they don't get in the camera because they'll be i don't want to be on the film so have a great day thanks bye-bye i knew they'd pause hi <laughs> you're fine